Thank you for joining. For those of you that are live, um, my name is Rinze Ostenaar. That's actually how you pronounce that first name. It's a Dutch first name, rather unusual. And I'm the marketing manager for Morakura Family. And I'd like to take you through the Morakura Family properties that are all situated in South Africa. We started in 2005 with Morakura Family Madikwe in the Madikwe Game Reserve, which is malaria free. It's about four hours drive from Johannesburg or a one hour shuttle flight. Federal Air flies between Johannesburg and Madikwe twice a day, actually. And then in Johannesburg and Santon, we've got two more villas. And in the south of the country, about three and a half hours from Cape Town in the Hoop Nature Reserve, we've got a further two properties. It's all malaria free. Um, so it's nice for families traveling with kids. Just in a nutshell, before we go into detail um, with the different areas and the properties, just an overview. So in Johannesburg, we've got two villas, Atoll Place House, which is a nine bedroom villa, which is really big. And the four bedroom Atoll Place Villa, both can be booked on exclusive use basis only. And your airport transfers, your breakfast and drinks are included. In Madikwa, we've got three safari villas, owner's house, river house and farmhouse. They're all booked completely separately, privately. There's no communal area, so you'll go straight to the house. Kids of all ages are welcome in all properties. And in Madikwa, kids of all ages can also join on game drives when they're staying at any of our three exclusive use houses. With the exclusive use house, all your meals, all your drinks, um, your activities, everything is included in your stay. So it's a fully inclusive package. And then in the Hoop Nature Reserve, we've got the four bedroom ocean house, which is exclusive use. And we've got Morakuru Beach Lodge that has five suites. We are part of Relais and Chateau with the two properties in the Hoop Nature Reserve. And ocean house is only exclusive use. Beach Lodge can be booked per room or also on exclusive use basis. Activity wise, it's, it's exactly the same. So you'll do the same things when you're staying at ocean house or at beach lodge. Then Morakura Goodwill Foundation. Through Morakura Goodwill Foundation, we're supporting nature conservation and um, also local communities, mainly in the Madikwe Game Reserve. And a lot of our guests have also been involved in the conservation work over the years. Um, and we like to get them involved as well. That can be through donating goods for schools or local communities, but it can also be through nature conservation. Um, and that in particular through safaris with a purpose that we offer in Madikwe Game Reserve. So let's first take you down to the Hoop Nature Reserve, three and a half hours drive from Cape Town towards the Garden Route or a one hour private charter flight. And this picture shows you the properties. We've got Ocean House, that's exclusive use, and then Beach Lodge per room. In the middle is the staff accommodation and our solar plant because both Ocean House and Beach Lodge operate completely off grid. We operate on solar entirely. Um, and then in front here, we've got the new Bite Beach Cafe that was launched in February this year. It's open to anybody in the reserve during the day between 10 and 4 p.m. But in the evenings, it's exclusively for the Morakura family guests. So that could be a family staying at Ocean House or we operate a special dinner for the guests that are staying at Beach Lodge. But we would never combine Beach Lodge and Ocean House because Ocean House is really private and exclusive. You can see we're very closely located to the beach. It's only a few minutes walk and down from Beach Lodge or um, Ocean House. And Beach Cafe, Bites Beach Cafe is right down at the beach. If you look at the map, you can see where we are in relation to the rest of the reserve. There is an airstrip, so if you are flying in on a private charter, it's about an hour's flight from George or from Cape Town, and then it's a 25-minute drive from the airstrip to get down to our properties. You would be using the main entrance. Morakuru family is signposted, but you use the main entrance to the Hoop Nature Reserve to get to us. The last stretch of road is dirt road, but you don't need a 4 by 4 any vehicle can easily make the journey, but a slightly higher ground clearance. So like, like one of these SUVs that have you know, two wheel drive, those are also perfectly fine to reach the Hoop Nature Reserve. One of the main draw cards for the Hoop Nature Reserve is whale watching and it's land-based whale watching only. 
because it is a marine protected area, you're not allowed to do any fishing. There's no boating activities, no diving, no surfing, none of that. It's pure nature. And that means the whales are really relaxed. During whale season from early July until end of October, you can see up to 20, 30 whales at any given time from your bedroom at Ocean House or Beach Lodge. You don't need binoculars, you can just see them with the naked eye. There's dolphins year round, we see seals, and there's the odd penguins from time to time. There Sometimes we see turtles as well. So it's, it's really a very nice marine ecosystem. Other activities, when there's no whales, mountain biking, guided or unguided uh, an activity, you can follow the trails that are in the, in the reserve. The tidal walk at low tide is really spectacular. Low tide obviously changes, you know, in the course of the month. It could be in the morning, could be in the afternoon. So we normally tend to do this activity early mornings or later in the afternoon. If it's low tide around noon, it's usually too hot and too sunny for people to actually walk for two or three hours on the beach because there's no shelter and no protection. So normally the, the tidal walk is done early mornings or later in the afternoons. You can go swimming, and snorkeling, we've got masks, we've got wetsuits, we've got those protective rock shoes, everything is there. And it's a very colorful environment. There's lots to discover for kids, but also for adults. To me personally, this is almost like going on a bushwalk, but then the marine equivalent of it. Sandboarding is another fun activity that we normally combine with sundowner drinks and the sand dunes. There is game in the reserve. There's Cape Mountain zebras, there's Bontebok, there's Eland. We do nature drives as well. We do Feinbos walks. So there's quite a few activities to keep people entertained. This is the new Bites Cafe that I mentioned to you a little bit earlier. Um, you can see it's right down at the beach. There's indoor and outdoor seating. And it's very casual food. So it's pizzas, salads, burgers. You can get drinks. And the guests at Morikura family, they can just walk down to Bites and have lunches or drinks there. It's included. And for the outside guests that are maybe day visitors in the reserve, they can just pop in for a drink or a snack or, or a pizza and pay with a card. There's no cash payment. As I said, we operate on solar power entirely in the Hoop Nature Reserve, and we also use a pellet burner to supply hot water. Um, through Morikura Goodwill Foundation, we have employed people from the local community to cut down roycrons, because roycrons is an invasive species and it's killing the feinbos. So we're removing it. Cape Nature hasn't really done that over the years, so we've taken it upon us, on us to do that now. We're using it as firewood and we're working on a system for these little chips to go into the pellet burner. So can, we can use that to heat up the hot water supply. Getting to the properties now, Morikuru Beach Lodge, off-grid, solar-powered, five suites only. And of these five suites, two is family suites and they can accommodate two adults plus two kids under 16 sharing. You can see the location again. And this is your beach lodge with the family suites on this side, the left hand side, and on the right hand side, you've got the normal ocean view suites, also the honeymoon suite, which is around the corner, so you can't see it from this angle. There's a bar area upstairs, there's a fire pit downstairs, rooftop terrace, and at the back is the courtyard with the swimming pool. All the rooms are exactly the same. They're big, they're 100 square meters each. And in the family suites, we use this bay window here, this day bed, and we convert that into a bed for one or two smaller kids. We've got a screen as well, so the window can be screened off completely, make it nice and, and dark. But we can also leave it open, whatever the kids prefer. Your regular ocean view suites, as you can see, they look identical. All these suites have a small balcony. There's a television in the room, there's underfloor heating, but there is no air conditioning, not in Beach Lodge and also not in Ocean House because we don't really need it being so close to the ocean. The honeymoon suite is the only room that has a large outside space, but it has less of an ocean view because that dune is blocking the ocean view a little bit, but you've got a lot of privacy thanks to the outside area. You've got your own romantic bath outside. And as you step outside onto your deck, you still have ocean view from the honeymoon suite as well. Nice and spacious bathrooms for all five rooms. And then your dining room. We can do inside or outside meals, depending on the weather. The fire pit in front with the beautiful views. 
and then at the back is the courtyard, further outdoor seating, and also the swimming pool and the hot tub are in that courtyard. It can get quite windy here, so it's nice to have a sheltered area, so you can always use the pool even when it is a windy day. Upstairs is the bar and lounge area, and if you step out, you'll find the rooftop terrace with beautiful views. So that is Beach Lodge. Then if we would go about a kilometer to the left, we'll get to Ocean House. That is the exclusive use, the private villa with four bedrooms and one children's bedroom. So we can accommodate up to eight adults and four children under 16 at Ocean House. You can see the solar panels at Ocean House there and then the rooftop terrace courtyard at the back with your own private pool. So it's very similar. The layout of the house is very similar to Beach Lodge. Four bedrooms en suite. They are a little bit smaller compared to Beach Lodge because you don't really spend that much time in your um, bedroom. Your house, Ocean House is your private space. Bathrooms en suite. And then we've got what we call a children's bedroom. It's basically a study, but it can accommodate four children under 16 and bunk beds. But when we talk about a children's bedroom, it's literally a room like this, but there's no bathroom ensuite. So the kids would go to their parents' room next door to use the bathroom there. There's also um, outdoor seating and dining options if it's not too windy. And then upstairs, we've got the bar area at Ocean House. So that is the De Hoop portion of Morikura family. I'm taking you further north now to Madikwe Game Reserve, which is where Morikura family started. It's about a four hour drive from Johannesburg or a one hour flight. It can be a private charter flight or it could be one of the federal air shuttle flights. And in Madikwe Game Reserve, Morikuru family has a private concession inside the reserve. We're quite unique in that aspect. Oni Makanyani in the north also has a private concession, but none of the other lodges in Madikwe have a private concession. There's another private concession next door that's only a private house. It's not a commercial lodge, so it's not used that frequently. This whole area, which is roughly 5,000 hectares, is only for Morikuru family vehicles. We can also just cross the river and go anywhere else in Madikwe, but other lodges in Madikwe are not allowed to drive in our private concession. We are about 40 minutes from Madikwe East Airstrip, and we've got Onus House and River House on the Mariko River, and Farmhouse is a little bit further away from the river. Madikwe is big five, but leopards is probably... You know, the only animal that we're struggling a little bit to see every day. It's not like Sabi where you see leopards every single game drives. You have to work a little bit harder in Madikwe to find them. It is big five, as I said, so very good rhino sightings, white rhino, black rhino. Our rhinos still have got their horns. Uh, we don't dehorn the rhinos, and we've got a very good anti-poaching unit in Madikwe that we sponsor through Morikura Goodwill Foundation. I also like the scenery in Madikwe. It's very diverse. You've got open grasslands. You've got more of this, this type of terrain. You've got the mountains, like you can see in the backdrop. So driving through Madikwe, the scenery changes quite frequently, which is also a nice thing. We do off-road driving in our concession, but also in the rest of Madikwe. It's limited off-road driving for, for certain sightings. We try to protect the vegetation and the landscape when we can. And we also still work with the tracker and the guide. Then in our concession, we've got this hide next to a waterhole. And during the night, we can convert this into a sleep out option that is included in the raid. So there's no surcharge if people want to do a sleep out option, but just let us know in advance and we will set it up for them. We also do lots of bush meals, so breakfast, lunches, dinners, and it's always just one house at the time. Whenever you book guests into one of the houses of Morikura family in Madikwe, they will go straight to their house. There's no communal area and they will never meet the other guests in the other houses. So from start to finish, their entire stay is completely private. Even bush meals like this is only for one house at a time. But we've got two spots where we can do bush dinners. Both have a view like this, which is actually quite nice. Then going back to Morikura Goodwill Foundation and the safaris with the purpose package in Madikwa, 
it is um, a three-day package, basically. So you have to book four nights at any of our houses. That's a minimum requirement. And on top of that, you can book this package. The package includes the following three elements, something like elephant coloring or rhino notching or any other work that needs to happen to any of the big five animals. The helicopter is involved. The vet is involved. There's a whole team that usually takes a few hours in the morning. Then we also visit the local school in Molotedi, and one of the researchers in Madiqua will come and do a presentation. That entire package is 81,000 Rand, or roughly $4,500 on top of a four-night stay, but the rate is the same. No matter how many guests, it is the same rate. And the nice thing is kids of all ages can also join in this activity. So when we do the rhino notching, like you see that picture there, that's for something, you know, for families to, to enjoy, and they can take part in it as well. They can hold instruments, they can take measurements, they, the, the vet will explain the whole procedure. So it's very much an educational experience for the entire family. So getting to the houses now, Owners House and River House have recently gone completely off-grid as well, as, as recent as December last year. So we operate on solar power in Owners House and River House, and the third house, Farm House, will go off grid in the next couple of months. Owners House is the original house that was created for the owners as their private holiday home. It's also the smallest house with two bedrooms for up to four guests, and it's been completely refurbished in 2020. New decks, new roofs, new interiors. So it's brand new. And it's literally one building with two bedrooms in the same house. So it's very safe for families because the bedrooms are right next to each other. And owner's house and river house are within one fenced area. So it's in the house and around the house, you're protected. But when you go out on a game drive, you leave that fenced area and you're in big five area immediately. Each bedroom has got its own ensuite bathroom, outside showers, inside showers. And then there's a beautiful wraparound veranda around the house overlooking the Marico River. So you can just sit here, read a book. There's sometimes elephants crossing, drinking, feeding on the trees. We may see crocodiles from time to time. There are hippos in the river, but they're not quite where we are. They're a little bit further downstream from where we are. There's a boma at Owner's House as well. And then River House is a few hundred meters away. Um, it's basically a bigger version of Owner's House. So it's three bedrooms plus a children's bedroom again. So we can accommodate six adults and four kids under 16 at River House. Also completely refurbished in 2020. Brand new pool, new decks, new roofs, new interiors. And it's very similar to River House, Owner's House. Both are similar for those bigger families that want to book both houses. We have that quite a lot. And in that case, the family will be able to walk from one house to the other because it's sitting within the same fenced area. Identical bedrooms, ensuite, outside showers, and then the kids' bedroom. Again, this one doesn't have a bathroom ensuite, so the children would use their parents' bathroom in the room next door. There's a massage sala in between the two houses where we can do massage treatments. And then River House has got its own little boma area as well. Then finally, farmhouse, completely refurbished in January and February. We reopened late February this year. New look, um, new design. This is the biggest house, five bedrooms for up to 10 guests maximum. So this house is ideal for multi-generation families. And farmhouse is sitting within its own enclosed area. So again, if you step out of farmhouse, you know, with your kids going to the pool or whatever, it's completely safe because you're sitting in that little enclosed area. It's a very different look and feel compared to the first two houses. And the nice thing with farmhouse is that there's a lot of general game living in the fenced area. So you'll see nialas, impalas, warthogs walking and running around and feeding around farmhouse. So it's, it's nice when you're swimming or just sitting outside of the house, you'll always see these animals around you. The new look and feel of farmhouse with the new lounge and bar area, new bedrooms, outside showers, bathrooms en suite, all five rooms have got bathrooms en suite at farmhouse, <coughs> apologies. 
and then the pool area. And you can see there's a lot of space around farmhouse. So kids can run around, they can play soccer. That's the nice thing about farmhouse. If you've got very active kids, they can really, you know, have fun and, and run around and dive into the pool um, un, unobstructed, basically. What we also did when we refurbed farmhouse is we added a brand new viewing deck overlooking a waterhole. This viewing deck is quite big. It's big enough that if you book farmhouse plus owner's house or farmhouse plus river house and owner's house, maybe you're sitting with like 20 plus guests in total. They can all come here and enjoy a meal at the new deck at farmhouse, enjoying the view of the waterhole. There's a fireplace and there's also a spa building on this particular deck at farmhouse. So owner's house and river house have got their own little massage area and farmhouse now also has their own little spa and massage area. So this is a brand new addition to farmhouse. Then finally, Johannesburg, we have got two properties in Santon, um, Ethel Place House, which some of you may know as Ethel Place Hotel. We started this as a hotel in 2015 and in 2020, during COVID, we converted the hotel into an exclusive use property. It's no longer possible to book per room. You have to book all nine rooms together. A lot of people look at me like, are you crazy? Well, maybe we are, but it's working for your bigger American families, for instance, your multi-generation families, where they've got people from all over the world getting together in Johannesburg before they move on for their safari. Especially if you've got teenage kids that prefer to have their own room. If you need to book five or six individual rooms at you know a similar property in Johannesburg, it's quite expensive. With Ethel Place House, you'll see it's good value for money if you need five or six rooms or even more. So the property itself hasn't changed. It's still the same. Um, you've got that main house with five rooms on the first floor. And then on the right hand side, you see a separate building. It's got two rooms downstairs and two rooms upstairs. And those rooms downstairs and upstairs are interleading as well. This gives you a good idea of those rooms. The rooms in the main house, um, they're slightly bigger, but they're not interleading. But obviously they're very close together. And then the view from the lounge area towards the pool and the garden. We are in Santon. We are quite close to Nelson Mandela Square, Santon City. It's about 15 minutes walk, 1.5. And we are about 30 to 40 minute drive from our Tambo Airport. So it's, it's perfect for a one night stopover, preferably two, because that gives your clients the opportunity to discover Johannesburg, explore the sites um, and, and get a little bit of the culture and history of Johannesburg. Um, but we do have a lot of one night stays. And we also use Ethel Place House and Villa a lot for events and functions, product launches, film shoots, photo shoots, all that. Next door is Ethel Place Villa. It's much smaller. It's only four bedrooms. And this has been going since 2015 already. So nothing has changed at Ethel Place Villa. You've got your own garden, your own pool, little Boma area. And then upstairs in the house is four bedrooms. Downstairs is your living and dining area. You can see the pool, the garden, and behind that white wall is Ethel Place House. So the two are literally right next door to each other. You can book them together for bigger groups, or you can just book them completely separately. Ethel Place Villa would be ideal for, you know, four or six or eight people, a small family with two or three kids, maybe teenagers that prefer to have their own room. All four bedrooms are ensuite, like you can see in this picture. One bedroom, however, is a little bit smaller. It's quite narrow. So it's, it's perfect for eight adults, as long as you're aware that the one bedroom is a little bit smaller compared to the other three. A lot of people ask us about rates. Um, we have a rate structure that has a minimum house rate for a certain number of guests. Like for instance, in Madikwe, our owner's house has a minimum rate that includes two guests. So 31,500 rand includes two guests. Then there's a supplement for adults or a supplement for children. If you book it for two adults and two kids, for instance, your total rate per night is 39,500. That works out to just under 10,000 rand or roughly $570 per person per night. If you look at the bigger river house, you've got 42,000 rand per night, and that includes four guests. 
again, your supplements for adults or kids. So if you would book this for four adults and three kids, like a multi-generation family maybe, your total rate per night is 54,000. That's 7,700 per night or $450 per night. And the same with farmhouse. Ocean House, the same story, and Apple Place Villa and House, the same story. So you'll see that our rates compared to other lodges are actually quite favorable. But yes, you would need four or six people traveling together or a family. Um, but there's lots of family that actually are traveling. And then you will see that our rates are, are actually quite affordable. We do have stay pay offers um, in Madikwa and in the Hoop. And we also have our Morikuro family journey. That means if you book any combination of minimum seven nights in Madikwa plus the Hoop, so let's say four nights in Madikwa and three nights in the Hoop, maybe at Ocean House or Beach Lodge, where you would have to book two rooms, we will give you two complimentary nights at Ethel Place in Johannesburg. So that way you can create a really nice itinerary combining a city property for two nights for free, four nights in Modiqua and three nights in the Hoop, and then you add something in Cape Town or the Winelands, and you've got a very nice South African itinerary. The same for high season, just you know, to give you a, a fair comparison, um, I've done the same again, and you'll see that it works out to just over 10,000 in Madikwa per person per night, um, 13,000 per person per night in uh, Owner's House, which is a little bit smaller. But even in high season in a Morikura Ocean House, you're looking at under 7,000 per person, and that includes all your meals, all your drinks, all your activities, everything. So that basically is um, Morikuro family in a nutshell.